so much of them now. We came in to do doing this record. Uh, it's kind of some dark times for us. Thank you, John. Thank you for being here, everybody. Yeah. On our way to making this record, we've been in like a terrible fucking wreck. Uh, one of our drummer at the time nearly died. He was in a coma for a long time. He was all fucked up. I was pretty fucked up. We shouldn't, none of us should have lived. We got T-boned by a semi on the edge of the Great Plains outside of Denver. And we got through that. In fact, he and I got back to work within a month after that. And then we got Brandon in the band. And I want y'all to know we were poor. We were fucking hungry. We worked all the time. And we did. We worked every night that we could. And we were mad when we didn't work. And uh, we went to, when we went to sign the deal in Manhattan to make this record, we stopped in the afternoon and went and got some Italian food, Midtown somewhere. We came back and our van had been broken into. His original 63 Strat had been stolen. Some precious, irreplaceable shit that Brandon had was stolen. My first seven string was stolen. It was fucking brutal, man. And our A&R guy at the record company was up on the 60th floor of this apartment building. And we would make crystal out on the balcony. He's like, no, I don't even go out there. Late that night, I went to police stations, the local precinct, and I said, let's go house to house and look for these fucking guitars. And <laughs> NYPD was like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> so anyway, I just want to let y'all know, we, when we rolled into this, uh, into Seattle to make this record, we were not fucking rock stars. We, we still ain't fucking rock stars. We, we came in there and we came in to play. We came in to play with all the feeling we could muster. And uh, this guy um, is, a, is a real leader. He really, he really took us there. So thank y'all for being out here. That's all I got.
Yeah.